Welcome to my college life. You guys, it is not morning right now. It is, oh, it's 11.31, AKA it is almost morning. This is supposed to be a, what college is really like? And boy, is it going to be that. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything for you guys. I'm trying to tell you exactly what it is. It is nighttime and I just wrote a paper. Normally I am on top of things. I would say that I am a more relaxed, less structured person, but I still like to get things done on time with a buffer. This week has not been like that for me. It's the week before spring break. I've been anticipating spring break so much that I think it's just like thrown me off massively. It's also been 50 degrees and sunny out this week, which has caused me to want to be outside more than inside when it's normally negative and freezing wind chill. So it's just been really nice to be outside and get vitamin D, but that did mean that I pushed my homework back more towards the last minute. So I took a quiz tonight. I wrote a summary on the book of Acts. And now here I am um, starting off this vlog close to midnight because I thought what better way to start the vlog than to start it literally in the thick of things. So now I'm just getting ready to go to bed right now. I'm in my PJs, nice, comfy, loose fitted sweatshirt, sweatpants, and I may majorly regret this decision because it's so late. But tonight, oh, you who? Big summer blowout. Comment down below if you know where that reference is from. Um, normally, I'm in bed by 10, but I figured after that paper, I'm just so hopped up on energy, I can't go to bed. And this has been my unfortunate companion the rest of that is just gonna be tossed into the garbage because I can tell you what, this is like real life legit reality, but while I'm telling you this, I'm just gonna be putting on this mask that I got for Christmas for my sister. Thank you, Ashley. You know that anything um, face masky, I appreciate. And I might as well do this. I'm gonna be constipated tomorrow. I know I am. Because I had ice cream, which does that to me. But I think I was emotionally um, eating and I was using food as like a stress reliever, which for somebody who's had, you know, counseling for eating disorder issues, you kind of learn that Going to food to um, regulate your emotions is not a wise thing. And so tonight was not great for me in that sense. And so I learned a lot about the consequences of the actions that I take in the sense that I chose to put off my homework and I chose to enjoy good things, um, but it also caused me to have more stress now that I had to do my homework at the last second. Um, and the hard thing about college is you have so many opportunities and you can't say yes to everything. And this week I just wanted to, I just wanted to. And I've enjoyed every second of it, except for tonight. I do have to say though, even writing my paper at 10.30 did give me a rush of adrenaline. So I did kind of enjoy it. But I also haven't shown you this. I really need to clean my bed off. Ugh. Just throughout the day, I just <laughs> pile things up on my bed and then I really need to like <sighs> clean it up later. 
I ended up getting my friend a birthday present from King Arthur. She um, wanted, well, she didn't really say it explicitly, but she likes making scones and I've made her scones and I know that she makes scones, but she doesn't have a scone pan. So I was thinking about um, what gift I could give her that would actually have meaning and that she would use. Um, and so I got her scone pan from King Arthur, which is a really good, um, reputable company for baking. And my mom has a scone pan that we use from King Arthur, so I know that they work. And so I got her a cutie little ceramic one, I think. Time to take this off and hit the hay. But I'll definitely see you tomorrow. Just thought I would show you some of what my night looked like. are so beautiful this morning. I have a 7.35 class that I have to go to um, via Zoom. It is called Bible Intro. One of my favorite classes right now. Absolutely amazing and um, it's really because my teacher is just so brilliant and passionate. It's amazing to see and he just takes his job um, so seriously and with amazing care. Now I'm actually going to be going to get some coffee with my friend Olivia who I got that birthday gift for. I'll probably give her her gift today just because it's coming close to the end of the week and then it's spring break so I want to give it to her soon. Um, but I'm just going to do my makeup for it so I'll put it in fast speed. makeup and I'm just wearing this cutie little crop sweater with green shirt from Ari. this is not from Ari. I got this from a thrift store um, jeans jeans and high top converse time to go get some coffee <gasps> this little cutie we're getting coffee at Edie's we're on our way Edie's in Chicago, you have been, I have not. It's really cute. Definitely one of those cute coffee shop aesthetic places. Yeah, what if <laughs> they do crazy latte art? Yeah, they actually do like dyed milk. Oh. So it looks like tie dyed latte. If you're interested.
Okay, I admit it. I'm a bad vlogger. I forgot to show the coffee. <gasps> what a fail. I'll put the pictures here. <sighs> Sorry, I know that doesn't really make up for it. She's such a sweetie. She got me a little gift. Perfume and a note. I kind of wanted to show you guys this little film camera that I got from eBay. And I'll probably maybe bring this with me. It's just such a little cutie camera. Um, and I really like, don't really know exactly what I'm doing with it. But I've already taken a couple pictures on it. I might continue to take some today. I just like put it in my purse. It's so simple. Like look at how tiny this thing is. Just put that in there. And I'm good to go. Um, next thing on my agenda, I have New Testament class. It's a two hour class and then I'm going to be going to a restaurant. Is it a restaurant? Yeah, it's not, you can't sit down and eat there, but it's called Sweet Green. It's a chain in Chicago at least. And I'm just gonna be getting food with my friend Hannah, which she actually is in my New Testament class with me. Really grateful for her. She's so great, amazing amazing friend we are always confessing sin to each other and being support for each other and praying for each other so i love her and yeah it's just gonna be a good time of eating together um so i have to show you hannah Today's a fun day because we're going out to lunch together at Sweet Greens. Yes, Sweet Green. I've been there before, but Hannah has not. And so this is going to be her first experience. I hope I don't let you down. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> um, there's so many places in the city to try. But this one I've been to before, it's kind of like a fancy Chipotle. Kind of. Without pepper, hopefully. <laughs> yes. Black pepper doesn't settle well.
she is, folks. The lovely Taylor Crofts getting our sweet greens. You're so sweet. <laughs> Did I say your last name right? Taylor Crofts. <laughs> I panicked when I said it. I'm like, wait, was that right? <laughs> We're just heading back to campus. And very excited to eat our lunch. Yes. Our Tell lunch. us what you got. You know what? I got the green. Ew. What the? <laughs> I saw that, yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> But, because I'm non-confrontational, I was just like, <laughs> oh. Add some color to it? Yeah. Do you think she knew I was recording? <laughs> that was great. That was great. Um, uh, uh, it has avocado on it. She also put cheese in it, which the cheese was not on it either. I what kind cheese. of cheese do you think it was? It was blue cheese. <gasps> Which I love blue oh, Okay, okay. You don't? No. <laughs> it's a hate, love or hate. But anyways, our class uh, goes. Taylor, <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sammy. <laughs> um, our class goes right through lunch. Mm -hmm. So we're hungry. 11 to one o'clock. What time yeah. is it now? I don't know. 133. 133. Not bad. I feel like I have a runny nose and my boogers are gonna fall out <laughs> any second. Oh. oh, there's so taco. Have you ever been? No. Oh, Where well, is that it? makes sense. It really doesn't. It's right there behind the 20. Oh! Place. Is there a zoom in in this thing? Yeah, there is. There it goes. I recommend Soul Taco to anybody who wants to come to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> it's really close up on your face. That's okay. And you should get the sweet potato taco thing. It's actually like a nacho. Hmm. But it's really good. Note to self. <laughs> We're nicely separated by this giant piece of plexiglass. I just had so much fun with Hannah. Um, we just left each other and now I am going to be headed over to Ashley's to film a video. For Coffee and Battle Time, we're going to be exegetically going through Psalm 119 specific passage of it, not the full Psalm 119 because that is the longest chapter in the Bible. And I tried recovering this zit, not good. I made it worse. Yeah. I mean, from this far away, I like neutralized it, maybe, but up close, it looks like a defiling skin disease. So, that was a joke, by the way. If you've read the Old Testament, then that would be funny. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I'm headed over there now, and I just popped some popcorn. I'm gonna put this in my bag. And just kind of walk over. I had so much fun with Hannah. I like brought out my film camera and I like took some pictures, so that was kind of fun and cutie. This is Ashley's wonderful view from her window. I'm just in her living room right now that she shares with her roommates noelle and molly um we're about to start recording and i'm very sleepy because i didn't go to bed until 1 45 and i got up at 7 so i knew today would be an interesting day but super fun and actually had a lot of energy for the most of it but now i think i'm starting to wind down and with that, I'll say thank you for watching today's vlog. I hope it inspired you. I hope you found it interesting and fun. Give it a like if you appreciated um, just this day in the life. If you liked it, if I ever made you laugh. And we'll see you in our next vlog.